Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Storytime. I have a little song to share with you all today to welcome you here. Here's how it goes. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Now that we've sung our song, I think we're ready to meet our friend for the day. Here he is. Oh, it's Escargo. Welcome back, Escargo. You look a little different. You've got some hard eyes today. Oh, do you mind telling us why you're so excited to be here? Why, yes, I do. First of all, bonjour to my friends. I have heart eyes today because it is Snailentine's Day, my favorite holiday. Snailentine's Day? <laughs> okay, you know, escargot, actually, us, us humans, us non-French humans, we actually call it Valentine's Day. I don't think he likes that that much. We can call it Snail and Tine's Day today. That's okay. Well, I have some Snail and Tine's Day stories. Would you like to hear them? Oh, sounds like Escargot does. Let's get started. This is Love Escargot by Dashka Slater with pictures by Sydney Hansen. <gasps> Bonjour, you are here already? I have not finished getting dressed, but that's okay. I don't mind. You will help me decide what to wear. This is my beanie. I wear it when I am full of beans. But today I am full of salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette, so I cannot wear the beanie. What about the fedora? I wear it when I want to be fancy and adorable. Fedorable! Do you think it is too big for me? Perhaps the beret is best. The beret is chic. Suave, debonair, it makes me look magnifique. You can kiss me if you like. <sighs> but now I must tell you something exciting. Today is snail and Tines day, which is a day for celebrating the love you feel for your favorite snail, your snail and Tine. Escargot has been invited to a party. All the snails will be there, eating canapes and crudités and exchanging beautiful cards. You are a snail, aren't you? You are beautiful enough to be a snail, even if your tentacles are unusual. But when you wave them in the air, no one will care. The secret to being a beautiful French snail is joie de vivre, which is the happiness you bring to waving your tentacles. Let us wave them together. Voila, you are a snail. While we are traveling to the party, we can talk. Tell me, what do you look for in a snail and pine? A nice smile, a shimmery trail, French flair. Your snail and tine should be somebody who makes you feel magnifique. For example, they might give you compliments like, your tentacles are as tall as the stems of a flower, or your trail is as shimmery as the stars in the sky. Your snail and tine will enjoy the same things as you, like reading books about snail heroes or eating salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. They might call you a cute nickname like my little cabbage or my apple core or my flea. Maybe those sound cuter in French. Don't take this the wrong way, but I noticed that your shell is missing. Did you forget to put it on this morning? It's not that I care about your shell, it's just we are going to a snail and Tine's day party. If you do not have a shell, people might think you are a slug. Not me, of course, I know you are a snail. Without your shell, you will have to find another way to hide when you feel shy. Even a fierce French snail like Escargot sometimes feels shy at parties. 
Perhaps you can hide behind a convenient plant or rock. Or you can use your tentacles. Let us practice shy hiding together. Voila, it is like you are invisible. You are a very clever snail. I understand why you might be feeling shy. You are wondering, will there be dancing at this party, Escargo? Because I do not know all the latest snail dances. Do not worry, I will teach you. The secret to being an excellent snail dancer is to do it with elan, which is a mix of style and enthusiasm. Let us practice dancing with elan. First, the shell swivel. Next, the foot wiggle. Add the tentacle shake and the shimmery slide. And voila, you are a dancing snail. Keshan, we have danced ourselves all the way to the Snail and Times Day party. Do I look all right? Do I have lettuce in my teeth? Is my shell on straight? Maybe you should give it a little polish. On the count of three, we will go inside. One, two, three. Actually, why don't you go first? I will count and you will turn the page. Un, deux, trois. But this is not the right party. This party has crudités and canapes, but no snails. Welcome to my Valentine's Day party. Escargo has never spoken to a vol before. Escargo has no idea what to say to a vol. Escargo is extremely confident, but also mildly concerned. Do voles like snails? Do voles eat snails? Do voles make holes? What if Escargo falls into a deep vol hole and can't get out? I am sorry you did not bring your shell because I am going inside mine. Not because I am afraid of voles. I just need a moment to think. Hello, I'm Volery. I couldn't help noticing your beautiful shell. It's the color of a cozy burrow and you wear your beret with such distinctive flair. I was wondering if you ever, I mean, sometimes with the right music, like to dance? The vol is actually charmant. Her crudités are delicious and she waves her whiskers with so much joie de vivre. She makes me feel magnifique. Do you think perhaps she could be my volentine? But that does not mean I've forgotten my snail in time. Can you guess who it is? Maui, it's you. To my little cabbage, you are my favorite snail. Love and kisses, Escargo. The end. This is Love Bugs, a pop-up book by David A. Carter. Cupid bugs are everywhere, shooting arrows through the air. About one thing, I have no doubt. The love bug will bite you if you don't watch out. Being in love means lots of hugs, especially for kissing bugs. I love you so much, I really can't eat. But maybe you're hungry, so sweets to the sweet. Because I love you as I do, a dozen rosebugs just for you. Will you be my love bug? The end. Those stories were so fun. Next, we're gonna do a story that's a little unusual because it takes place on a flannel board. This is A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. Parrots are green. Goldfish are red. Elephants are gray. 
and pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. And with this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow. And so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red and the chameleon too turned red. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch and with it, the chameleon. And the chameleon was no color at all. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass. And there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own, he asked. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together and purple and yellow and red with white polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. That was so fun. I loved reading about Snailentine's Day. Oops, I think it's Volentine's Day now. I hope you all have a wonderful Snailentine's and Volentine's and Valentine's day. Goodbye.